Is your obesity a result of a mental illness? Approximately 1% of the population will develop a bipolar disorder with the rates of diagnosis being equal between men and women. Some people with bipolar disorder experience mixed mood states in which depressive and manic symptoms coexist. In a mixed state, a person will often have symptoms that include agitation which is psychological and physical restlessness, insomnia the inability to get enough sleep which causes weight gain, extreme changes in appetite, which causes obesity, and suicidal thoughts. All while feeling euphoric. We're here today with Didi, and we're going to talk about a serious problem that a lot of people suffer from is manic depression, depression, uh, bipolar disorder, and how Didi has worked with it and what she thinks about it. So, first of all, you want to give us an explanation of basically what is manic disorder or bipolar disorder? Well, it varies from every person. Um, I personally suffer from bipolar, and in my case, it's a fluctuation of mood swings. One minute you're fine, the next minute you're uptight or upset or sometimes just angry at the world. Um, what are you doing for it? Me personally, I go for walks when I get upset or when I notice my, my episodes happening. I'll go for a walk, I'll do breathing exercises. And how did you used to deal with it? When did you become aware that you had this problem? As a young adult. I'd say in my early 20s. And what what made you aware of it? That you weren't feeling like normal I became people? very abusive towards my six-year-old at the time. And when I saw that I could be that violent, it scared me. And I went and, and sought some help. Could it be that uh, you were dealing, like every adult, with a, a stressful situation? What made you feel yours was different than regular stress? Um... The fact that I didn't think I could stop hitting him the day I, I had swung on him, and I got really scared. I didn't know how to stop. I don't know how I managed to stop. I had to call for help, and I called my mother at the time, and she came out and helped. And what do you, you've spoken to me about uh, helping other people with this. What, what is your feeling about other people reaching out for help? That's the best thing they can do is get help, because you can't deal with it by yourself. You need somebody there to, to be moral support, to help you through some of the hard times. And, and you talked about homelessness, and what brought on, was that brought on because of the bipolar? No, I think that was just bad choices, but it also aggravated the, 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 the mental illnesses that I have. And you used the word mental illness. How, how do you describe the word mental illness? What do you mean by that? Well, in my case, it's my bipolar. I've got OCD. I have post-traumatic stress, depression, anxiety. Bipolar disorder is difficult to diagnose. Individuals with bipolar disorder are at a higher risk for a number of other mental and physical illnesses including post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety disorders, social phobias, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder Mind Grain Headaches Thyroid Disease Diabetes, and our major problem Obesity Substance Abuse Problems are also common among patients with depression, and is a major cause of obesity. There is no known cause for bipolar disorder, but it tends to run in families just like obesity. Obesity and mental issues seem to occur together. Loneliness, alcohol and drug use, are all forms of mental illness which manifest as obesity. Research into the genetic causes of bipolar disorder is ongoing. Bipolar disorder is a serious but highly treatable condition with modern medical therapy. If you are considering harming yourself or others call 911 immediately, and proceed to a hospital emergency room. Or contact the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK.